so, yesterday's video. I think I made a very good point, I, or not a very good point. I got the point across that I was trying to get across in yesterday's video. Basically just talking about how um, I will keep trying no matter what. Nothing will deter me from, from beating this game or beating this mission. Um, yeah, you know, like especially because it's it's for charity. This is something I'm just going to keep doing. But that being said, I think I also um, I think I also completely missed, and I'm pretty disappointed in myself for this. I completely missed the actual point that I wanted to make. Come on, elite! Come on, elite! Eat the bullet. Yep, there we go. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay. I wouldn't mind retaking this this one because you know being this pissed has kind of oh I hope that stuck him it did oh that's lucky that's lucky now you guys are all dead you're in a patch of grenades oh maybe not come on what is this fuck this I do not want to die like this Jesus that was scary. That was scary. I, I don't understand why that that was strange. That's never happened before. Where an elite um, died to getting stuck by a grenade, even though they're normally very good at dodging them. And then I threw a grenade on a grunt, and every single grunt and jackal in the area managed to escape that grenade. That's never happened to me. That's so, like, backwards from what I expect. Anyways, um... Hooey! It's been a while since I've beat this part of the mission. I'm gotta take small victories, I suppose. Hooey? Why did I say hooey? So, yesterday's video, and why I'm pretty disappointed in myself in it. The point of yesterday's video was kind of gotten across about again about how I'm going. I, I have the determination to successfully beat this game without dying once, and beat every mission without dying once, and I will do that. Even though I'm bad about this kind of stuff, I'm kind of at war with myself when I'm doing this more so than I am with the game. But that's kind of the whole point, and I want to get better at persevering through things, but th that's not the point of, that I'm trying to make right now, because I'm talking about yesterday's video. I get sidetracked all the time. We should show them who they're dealing with. I'm disappointed in my performance of, at, in yesterday's video. Not because of the whole pessimistic aspect of it. That was part of the point that I was trying to get across. But because I didn't... Oh, this is going to fail, isn't it? Oh, no, okay. But because I didn't talk about how... If I can do something like this... And this was really the point. If I can manage to... Beat persevere and, and beat this mission and, and and win the war against myself, I guess. With this mission, with this game, with all of the Halo games, and that's why I'm going to keep doing it, because I'm trying to prove a point to myself and to the rest of the world that if I can do something like this, literally anyone can. Because I have been throughout my life, and I'm getting better about it, but that's because I'm forcing myself to, and that's kind of the whole point of me talking about this, but I have been throughout my life the most just lazy and hedonistic person imaginable. Like, I, I, I have never met anyone to be as hedonistic or as lazy as I have been throughout my life, and I'm not kidding about that. Um, I am, I, I'm, again, I keep saying am, and I, you know what, I'm gonna commit to it and say am, yes. I am so hedonistic and so lazy. I, I hesitate to say am because I am so much better about it than I used to be, like, two and a half years ago, when I really started trying to change this, I've come miles. But, I'm still not there to where I want to be, and I probably never will be. I'm always going to be trying to Im improve myself. But the whole point, uh, again, I'm being selfish and, and talking about myself a lot. Again, the whole point in me mentioning any of this is that if I can do this, literally anyone can. Because I have come from a, a place of insane pleasure-seeking, nothing being as important in my life to me as, as pleasure, and... Uh, okay, I'm fine. As pleasure and that sort of thing, like I already mentioned, it, and I'm very, I'm I'm very hopeful that my my succeeding with this 
eventual succeeding, will show you that I can do something like this. And the reason why I want to show you, which is the point I failed to get across yesterday, the reason why I want to show you that I can do this is because if I can do it, anyone can. There's nothing special about me. Uh, there's nothing, literally nothing special about me in, in this regard. I mean, I'm sure there's some unique things, but that's not what I'm talking about. I, my willpower was probably the weakest out of, out of most people that I know until I've begun working on it. It's just... I have... If you would have seen me when I was... Well, two and a half years ago, and before that. If you would have seen me and thought... Maybe maybe looked at me and, and wondered what I would do with my life, you would probably think, and accurately so, that I was and would be an incredible example of wasted potential and laziness to just used to just get by you know my talent and my skill used to just get by because as pretentious as it might sound to say I am actually talented at a lot of things but by my opinion talent doesn't mean shit talent is useless unless you also work your ass off and if you have those things combined then you can do a lot of great things now I'm by no means insanely talented but I am significantly talented talented with some things in my life but I've been a lazy piece of shit, and so my talent means nothing. Um, yes, this is how I think of myself. I, I'm saying thoughts out loud when I say some stuff like, I've been a lazy piece of shit. I say this stuff to myself all the time. It's probably not healthy uh, to talk to myself like that, but it, to some extent it's how I, I get myself to get up and do stuff. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. But if I can do this... The point being that I failed to make with yesterday's video. If I can do any of this, you can too. There's plenty of people out there who have better stories than mine. I mean, there's nothing... I don't have any spectacular story. I haven't spectacularly suffered in my life. I haven't spectacularly made accomplishments. I have, like, one of... I have a, a very... simple backstory, I guess you could call it. I have a very simple story. I don't come from any spectacular experiences that I could say are, are motivating are motivating me or driving me to to some insane heights and, and making my willpower unbreakable. I'm just a normal person who has been lazy as fuck through most of my life and I want that to change and that's literally it. That's the extent that this goes to. And I want to show you how far that can go. How far I can take that. And if I can take that if I can take that to the height that I want to, then you can do anything. I don't care who you are, you can do literally anything. And this is the kind of stuff that I want to talk about on this channel, or the kind of points that I want to get across. Um, and yesterday just wasn't it. Yesterday I completely forgot the point of me making the video, and so I made, I made this video. Um, or I'm not making this video to do this. I was going to make this video anyways, but I wanted to talk about this in this video, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, talking about it has clearly helped me calm down a bit, and I'm glad it has, because I am a little bit embarrassed about how angry I was at the beginning of this attempt, but it's fine, because I am a human being, and I do get frustrated, especially when it comes to um, pushing myself and, and failing, because I struggled to do that, like I said. I haven't done this shit. This is new to me. Pushing myself, trying to be better at stuff, is pretty fairly new to me um, in my life. It's something that I only started doing about two and a half years ago and started ramping up this past six months or so, even more so than before. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm not going to stop until I manage to accomplish some stuff. Also, the game is glitched. This happens sometimes. There it goes, unglitched. Sometimes the, the next, um, I guess I just had to stop driving. Oh, okay, well, I guess I figured it out. In the future when that glitch happens, I just have to stop driving for a sec, because that's the only thing I could think of that I did to make that one spawn. Okay. Let me see if I can't swoop in here and get some run over kills. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. 
nice. This is going pretty well. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually explained my strategy for this mission, because my strategy is to do this this specific uh, this specific section first when like trying to to save Marines' lives and stuff. Oh no! Don't don't flip! Don't flip! Ooh. Because um, this is like the hardest. By far, I would say this is the hardest um, section. Uh, as far as like saving the Marines and stuff, I would say that this is definitely the hardest section. And so I try to get this one out of the way. That way, if I if I fail at it, it doesn't take me as long to get back and attempt it again. Whereas when I first started doing this mission, and this was also a huge source of frustration, I would do the other Marine sections first, and then I would get to this Marine section, and I would be so pissed every time because I would keep failing, and it would suck. Um, to suck at the ver to suck at the very end of the mission. I mean, yeah, but to fail at the very end of the mission, it I hated it. It was excruciating, and it happens all the time with Mission 3, because that's just part of Mission 3. There's nothing I can do about the fact that the hardest part of the mission is at the end. But I can work a bit smarter instead of working harder with this mission. Please don't tell me that, that grenade is on here. Yep. Damn it! That ends the mission. Yep, that grenade got on the Warthog. I realized it way too late. Tried to hop off, but... Fuck! Um, Alright, I'm going to do what I was going to do earlier. I'm just going to keep that take... I don't want to re-talk about everything I just did, so I am just going to continue talking when I get back to that section. You'll see me back at that section talking again, because I feel like I got the point across pretty well, and Chief? I don't want to. Chief, can you hear me? I don't want to have to redo yes. that whole conversation I just right? did because it's going to make me insanely frustrated. So I will talk to you later when I when I catch you there, which for you is going to be in a few seconds. Attempt number seven. Here we go again. Okay, I am back, and I'm in. I am in a bad way. Cause this gunner just got freaking destroyed. This is pretty bad. Oh, well, that works. So the reason why this one is so freaking hard is because there's like six dropships by the end of it. It's it's really ridiculous just the sheer number of dropships. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. I really gotta keep this gunner alive. Cannot... Ooh, okay, good. All those missed. I need him to live at least until the last dropship. Because then I can get more gunners. Oh, I'm not too worried about it. I can go through the next two sections without having a gunner. But this one is so hard to do on foot. It's insane. Are you kidding me? What is it with this glitch? I do not understand why the dropships just don't show up.
Okay. Oh, wait. Is it over? Sweet. Okay. Since I can, I will go ahead and see if I can't get a different Marine on here. This Marine just needs to get on the Pelican and get out of here. Someone hop on this gun. I need a gunner. Yes, the cavalry has arrived and you're part of it. Okay, well actually I think this guy's gonna go. Nope, he did get on the turret. Sweet, and they're both at full health. That means I did a good job. But I'm gonna grab health, and oh, I guess I need magnum ammo too. I didn't even notice that. And sniper. Okay. Now it should, it should be, I, I don't want to speak too soon, but it should be a piece of cake after this. It really should. After beating this section, I just have to be careful to not drive into any grunt grenades, and we're all good. And not kill my marines too. Okay, hop on, Marines. They just did a pass. Come on, come on, come on. Both of you. Let's go. Dude, get in or I'm leaving you. You're, I'm leaving you behind. Fuck you. Um, Gunner, are you going to be useful? Oh my gosh. I have an idiot, Gunner. Please. Will you please? There we go. Thank you. I need him to shoot down the Banshees, because the Banshees are freaking dangerous. Yeah, throw a grenade at it. Alright, now you can get in, passenger. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so that's the one I don't want to go to next. Right? Or wait? No. I do want to go to this one next, I think. I don't remember. I'll recognize it as soon as I get there. Hopefully this Marine doesn't... Yep, yeah, he's dead. Nope, he's not. Alright. I'm gonna flip it from this side. That should work. I don't understand why I'm driving so bad. Yeah, I know where the lifeboats are. I'm trying to make sure that I get the right one. I think this is the right one. Yes. Okay, this is the next one. Here comes more. Well, shoot at them. Why is my gunner an idiot? <laughs> oh, Come on, dude. It's oh, not that hard. Uh, if he keeps acting like this, I'm just going to ditch the Warthog entirely. Because I really don't need it. This one I can just do with a sniper pretty easily. You're telling me to drive smooth when you won't even pull the trigger? No oh, thanks. Yeah, one alien down. One. <laughs> the guy that I had on here before this, I sadly had to retire, but he was mowing them down. Did not show that guy enough appreciation. But you guys didn't see him much in this video anyways, because of when I'm cutting it to. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Want some more? I'm killing faster than you are. How is that possible? Pretty bad. Yep, I literally splattered him before you managed to kill him with the chain gun. Even though splattering in this game is not easy to do against elites. That is absolutely ridiculous. Alright, can you... Yeah, yeah, yikes indeed. Nice. 
Oh god. Please don't, grunts. Please don't. Whew. Getting stuck like that's bad because the grunts will 100% stick you. Grunts are the scariest thing when you're in a warthog, literally. Everything else doesn't matter. It's just the grunts. When you're in any vehicle in this game, besides the Banshee, actually. Okay, we're done already. Yeah, the, the last one, I literally ditched the Warthog. There's no point. It's it's a death sentence to be in the Warthog for the last one. So I'm just going to grab ammo. I don't care that this guy's at low health because I'm not going to be using him for the last one. And let's go. I will be beating this mission, finally. Unless I do something really stupid in this last section, which is entirely possible. But, generally speaking, this is the easiest part, or should be. the way? I genuinely don't remember. This can't be the one I just came from, so this has to be it. I just don't remember this one being the last one I would go to, but it's been a while since I've been to this part of the mission, so what would I know? Alright, since this guy did so badly, I am actually kind of going to put him in the line of fire, because I want to get some help out of him. So I'm just going to put him here, so that he has to deal with those. He's going to die pretty quickly. There we go, there we go. I'm, I'm using grenades a lot because this, this section's pretty dangerous without it. Oh, hey. Interesting, that. Come on. Nah, that guy's... That guy is rude. Come on! I'm wasting so much ammo right now. No! No! Whatever. Finally. I'm not even gonna waste a sniper bullet on that guy because I know I know that guy's ball game. Both of these elites up here are so annoying to hit. With the sniper, I mean they just the amount that they dodge and run into cover is insane. Can't escape that. Dang it. He definitely escaped. Um, I think the other one I'm just going to have to fight head on. choice. He's just too, he's too dodgy. Uh, 
Good. At least he didn't dodge the plasma pistol shot. Okay, we're good. Please don't damage my health. Okay, good. Now I need to go back and get the sniper, because the sniper is very useful for this next section. Um, and having 10 shots should be enough. Well, 14 total. This should be enough. because one bullet's not going to do a thing to these guys. Yeah. There we go. Dang it. Yeah, I was going to say that elite needs to move or, or he's going to die. Guess he chose death. Okay. That should be a majority of it. Oh, that's a lucky headshot right there. I don't think I need the sniper anymore, to be honest. cleared out. That was the last enemy then, I think. Yep. Okay, finally beat. Thank you everybody for watching. My commentary there at the end was horrible. This is attempt number seven, by the way, if I'm not miscounting. Um, so it took me seven attempts today to finally beat this. But I finally beat it again. And that means I'm one step closer to being out of the rut that I'm in. And that's what counts, for today at least, being one step closer. I will catch you all in the next one. Go do something that makes you uncomfortable, and yeah, thank you for so much for watching, like I already said. This is gonna be a journey, already has been a journey. There's our ride. Get aboard I can't wait to keep getting at it, because I am a bit satisfied at the moment, and I'm ending this recording session happy instead of being sad. Or not sad, but disappointed, so I'm excited to go again. But next time you see me with this whole thing, it'll probably be trying to beat Mission 3 again. Which I still have never beat. I think I might actually throw a party the day I beat that mission. <laughs>